They are both known from the series Sea Track Secrets, and they're the best of friends. But now, it's time for the Sea Track Battle on Foon. In this episode of Sea Track Battle, Team Thomas are heading south. We are going down to the last point and then we are fishing our way back. What we just saw here was a, a whole bunch of uh, sea trouts. Oh yeah, yeah. Just got a very disturbing phone call. They've no idea where Team Klaus are fishing. Yep, saw that. Finally, now it's going good. So now we are back to the first plan. Some of us quicker than us. <laughs> Left the way. But in the end, both teams are catching fish. Who's going to be the winner on day two? Let's hear the result for the second day. Team Thomas consists of Senja Furbo and Thomas Hansen. Team Klaus are Peter Alexanderson from Sweden and Klaus Eriksson. Yesterday we went south where most fish are but mostly smaller fish. But we needed some fish on, on the table, on the score. <laughs> so, uh, but today, and we won. So today we can afford to lose a day. But uh, we will not lose a day. But we, <laughs> we will go north for a big fish. Sounds, sounds okay. And there's a good chance that we won't catch any fish. Okay. But if we get one, ah, you never know. But uh, I know a few places up here where there's a chance for a very nice fish. Lesser but, but bigger. Lesser, much lesser and much bigger. Oh, so. sounds terrific <laughs> to me. Perfect. But we'll see, perhaps we'll only... Uh, that's that's uh, the strategy for at least half the day. Okay, and then, then we'll see. Then perhaps <laughs> we need a fish <laughs> and then we will go. Okay, okay. Not, not that Klaus and Peter drive north. Their plan is to fish several spots on Froon's Hall. Thomas and Senja are going for the open coast. They've already decided to put all their money on this spot and fish it thoroughly until noon. Okay, this is uh, our first spot this morning. Yes. Uh, what we're going to do is that uh, we will go down to the second point. There's a point right here. Yeah. Uh, also a, a black uh, belt out here with some weed and it looks very good. Yeah, but very but good. we are going down to the last point and then we are fishing our way back here yeah. to the car. To the car. So hopefully they're here. Yeah. I Satan's they haven't been at it for long before Senya has contact with fish. What we just saw here was a, a whole bunch of uh, sea trouts swimming around the area. I was just uh, moving my fly very slowly in when one of them uh, followed it and took it very slow. There was a whole lot of fish and there was big fish there too. You could see them very clearly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, hi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just got a very disturbing phone call. 
uh, at the other side where we came from. They haven't been fished there for a week. I've been fishing there for a week. Last uh, yesterday in the afternoon between 3 and 6 o'clock my friend got 17 sea trout up to around 60 centimeters there on a lure. So uh, I hope, I got, I hope not that Klaus have uh, chosen that spot today. And fortunately, it's very, very close to his, uh, he has a hot little house up there. It's very bad if he has chosen that spot. Okay, let's try here. We cross over to the reef over there. Uh, now the water is, is rising and it's a little on the high side. We can go directly over here, but it's a little deep on the last part. So we go just a little in here and then over, then it's no problem at all. In here. Yeah, I saw, I saw. Yeah. Ah, it's a small one. Oh. Ah, what it is? It is a half a centimeter over 45. <laughs> Peter. Try to reel in and then go to next. Yeah, a little, just a little around the corner, not much, and then come this way. Uh huh. Yep. Team Klaus have now landed the first sea trout of the day, but nothing has happened for Thomas and Senya. It worked with a little bit of jigging and stop. Yes, and it like did. I told, just jig, stop, and uh, I had a few strikes also. They're very difficult these fish, but uh, nice one, maybe 40, 40 centimeters or so. But not over 45. No, no. not over 45, ah, but so. a small okay, fine one. Okay, first one under. <laughs> the fishes are here now, so uh, Thomas is just fish. Yeah. Yeah. It's under 40, so uh, just have to, have to take the main line here, so. Small one. The fish will be on this reef, in this little bay here, and to that corner. Yeah. And not longer. Uh huh. So if you go down there and fish, and fish towards the, bay, the birds, and then I start up yep. here and take this, yep. and then and then we catch one. Then we count them later. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, come hey, on, Klaus. come on. <laughs> How is it? 
Is it is it very windy down with you? No, no wind. <laughs> Nothing uh, and very difficult <laughs> trouts. We we need we need wind. Yeah, very difficult sea trouts. We we actually yeah, found yeah, we, we yeah, same same here. We have seen a, seen them but they are uh, it's hopeless. Yeah. Where are you uh, fishing? Where are you fishing? Uh up north. Up <laughs> north. Oh, I thought you were by your <laughs> own tree house. <laughs> Uh, I am. Uh, ah, it's close, close up far up. north. The, the most north you can get okay. on Hinton. How much have you? Yeah. How much have you caught? One, one over forty-five and one under. One over and one under. Okay, we have caught yeah. two under. Two under. So okay, that's it. So it will be. A, it will be a tough day if we don't get any wind. V very tough. So <laughs> we, have, we have seen some some big schools of smaller fish, but yeah. uh, but very difficult. As soon as you land, you fly on them. They just wait. Yeah. Come. Same here. We also had a big school with good fish, but uh, yeah, okay. so, so okay. uh, maybe we'll yeah. move up yeah. now. So, but well, um. we really don't know what to do now. But uh, we'll find. We will now. We're not chasing sea trout. We're chasing wind. Trying to find some wind. <laughs> so yeah, we try. Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, see, see you later. Bye. Thomas and Senya are now driving to Odensefjord, where they fished yesterday. At the first spot and on one of the first casts, Thomas is into a nice fish. Nice fish. Just uh, caught a very nice fish here on 47, maybe 48 centimeters. Uh, but then when I walked out again, I just scared a, a much bigger one. Uh, stupid just to walk out in the water before casting, even if it's very low. So. I'm just going to try to catch it, but uh, this is a very low water area, so the fish can be everywhere here. All over, over here or here, or maybe that way, so you have to cast in any direction that you, that, that you want to walk. What I'm doing here is I'm fishing like this, <coughs> just steady, and then I speed up like this and make a hard stop. Like this. Ah, that one. Hey, again, man. Gosh, you fat. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Last one again. Klaus and Peter have also chosen to check out one of the many spots in the fjord. Ah, look at that car. Same idea as us. Back to our own car. Not a place. <laughs> Damn it. So now we are back to the first plan. Thomas was quicker than us. They're now going back to the outer shore, where they spot a fish with large fins breaking the surface. It's a lumpfish, an extraordinary sight to see it swimming so high in the water. But there are also sea trout here. You 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 catch the fish by your hand. Yeah, is that allowed? Yeah, yeah that's perfect. For I think uh, steam bit is thirty points. 
But I think they, they are full of, of eggs here. Yeah, and the eggs. Yeah. The eggs taste spawn, real but, good. But uh, why they are <laughs> swimming around ah. in the surface, I don't know. Ah. There's almost no wind and Thomas and Senya are still fishing in the fjord. Thomas is fishing a little further north while Senya stays behind where they started. Hard work and three fish, but you did it again. Caught the most, caught the biggest in our team. That's perfect. <laughs> Not without you, my friend. That's perfect, but uh, it was difficult. This, yeah. this water is so nice, but it's hopeless to catch a fish in. It's true that no wind makes fishing difficult, but Senya is doing fine. Here she spots a fish at the surface and acts fast. It's uh, 47 centimeters. It's not very good condition. Okay. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> neighbor. Oh, I'm a five. 45. <laughs> yes, was good. Perfect. Perfect fishing. Okay, let's start. Let's hear the result for the second day. It's like the um, Grand Prix. Uh, and we can start, Peter. I have one fish on 45.5 centimeters. 45.5? Yeah, we have it on film. Yeah, we have it on film. The point five is on film. <laughs> and Peter has one under and one over at 56. Oh, oh that was a good one. Okay. 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 Let's hear. Go. We have, uh, uh, we have, oh, we have, have, to have, write have it down. Bob, Bob, Bob. Two under. under. Two, two under. Yes. Okay. And, and four over. Oh, four over. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and the biggest one on uh, 49.5. 49.5. It's really close. So it's close. <laughs> we will win. You will win. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! Good oh, one. I was looking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> very close. <laughs> You're already. Uh... Winner of the day with four okay. points out of six is Team Thomas. 
The decisive factor was that they caught the most sea trout over 45 centimeters. But, uh, yes. And uh, if you want to know, she caught three of them over 45 oh, centimeters. Ah, good. Good job. Fantastic. And where did you go? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's here. <laughs> we went well, to I know you Stock went south, Stockerbeken. and got the small ones down there. Yeah, yeah. And then we were we. I got a, a phone call from a friend. Okay. And uh, he told me that uh, yesterday between three and now. Yeah. Three in the afternoon. On, on Hinsholm. Yeah. Where I thought you were going, <laughs> they caught seventeen sea trout. <laughs> oh, shit. So I just uh, thought, oh no. He's up in his uh, tree house, in your house, so I thought you were there, so we went up here, but we didn't go up there. So we went into Odensefjord and, yeah. and fished uh, inside, to, uh, inside Odensefjord. Uh -huh. so. And warmer water in there. Warmer water, yeah. And if yeah. Thomas hadn't fished without uh, a hook, we would have caught a this lot was, more uh, I, can, I can tell a story <laughs> yes, now. We, we would have had... <laughs> this is uh, the most crazy thing I've done my whole life. I start by walking out, I catch one for 40, 47, 47 yeah. yes. and I was very fast, out again, out again, the small fish, and I ran out, and, and stop, stop, and boom, again, and it fell off. Lost one again. I did that five times within 30 minutes, and then she said, she had no, nothing on her, nothing. She said, I need, I need a fly like yours, come over here, so I went over to her. And we were speaking, I said, this is the fly I'm fishing with. <laughs> and there was no hook on it. The hook was broken. <laughs> so I just uh, hooked uh, five fish without a hook on. <laughs> That's catch oh, So you would have lost big time if I just... That's catch and <laughs> no, we know where you went, because you, I think you were five minutes before us. Oh, yes. But you, cannot, you may not park where you're parking. You're, yes, that's okay. <laughs> I said that. I, I said that with the, with the twelve. I said, I think Klaus is thinking about this. I think he's thinking about this. Let's go. Let's go. We were just <clears throat> parking and all the stuff out and walking around the farm there. And then, the what? <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, um, there were fish there. Yeah, we yeah. were sight fishing. And they were very, oh. yeah. Spotting, yeah, was spotting the fish. The to fish went totally another place, okay. and they went uh, right into the shore. Uh, and uh, Maybe two, three two, meters. Two, three meters from shore uh, in the high water. Yeah. And then uh, she so caught them. In. And I, I went out. Uh, and I went the same way, you know, we normally do. Uh, and she stayed down there with the uh, uh, blood police. Blood police, man. The story is actually better because <laughs> actually we, we borrowed a fly from the... Police, fly, fly police, fly police, <laughs> fly police. <laughs> okay. And, and she stayed on the spot right in the shore, and I went that, that long trip mm. and uh, had nothing. So if you had done that, you had caught no, nothing. No, okay. There was no fish out there. Ah, yeah, but anyway, it was a close race. Close but, uh, race. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Official handshakes. <laughs> Official handshakes. <laughs> uh -uh. Now the, the score for today is one one. One one. one one. It's getting exciting uh, now. Yes. It's getting exciting. Yeah. But now we're going for the big ones. Well, now we are fishing the next two days um, on Klaus's home water, his fishing spots, and where he, in an area where he knows uh, every little stone. Tomorrow's a day to gather strength while we make our way down to South Foon to Denmark Fishing Lodge, where there are many excellent fishing spots. So I'm a little bit under pressure, but. Um, I think that I have a plan, uh, maybe to get to some of the spots before him in the morning and uh, then maybe fish with a little bit more with a lure than I've done the last two days because uh, hopefully the fish down there are not that focused on the fly. So that's my strategy. Next time in Sea Trout Battle on Foo. Why is Thomas driving in the middle of the night? And why is Klaus in such a hurry to get to the next place? Okay, we know. One sea trout, one place, one fish. Let's go to the other place. It's a, it's a nice little place here. It's, it's like a flat, actually. It's a little bit deeper where I'm be fishing, but not much. I just have a, had a great trout following my, my fly. I've had three fish now. From there to here, there's uh, 30 meters. Very good. Just 45. I think me and the, the Danish sea tops have a, some kind of love affair. What a nice take. <laughs> <laughs>
when I get out here, I, I, I just spooked one really shallow. It was a re really big fish. Fishing car. Hello, uh, Klaus. <laughs> hey, Thomas. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Good. Is it How's the fishing? One of the teams hits the jackpot. Okay, let's hear the result for the third day. I'm tired. Spiritual finding pure deep down inside than me. Naturally. The fly police is a strict set of rules on which flies to use, which not to use, how to fish correct and how not to fish correct. I am Flug Policen, the fly police. <laughs>